Okay, let's get started looking at array destructuring in PHP. If you want to go ahead and follow along, I have a really simple index file here. If you just hop over to your text editor and run PHP S to boot up a web server, you can really easily do this just by specifying the domain and the port just here. So you can head straight over to the browser and just start testing this out without any kind of server. Okay, so the first example we're going to look at is an array uh, of single values which has numerical keys. So for example, let's create out a params array here with the value 10 and 20 in. Now, normally we would access these, let's say we had uh, these as X and Y axis, just as an example. We'd normally access these by uh, referencing params and then choosing the index of this particular array. So in this case, this would be zero. And this one down here, if we were to call this Y, would be one because arrays start at a zero index. So that's going to give us both of them values. Let's just go ahead and var dump both of these out to the page. So X and Y. And of course, if we come over to the browser, we should see 10 and 20. Great. So the question is, uh, why or when should we use array destructuring? Well, array destructuring is going to clean up your code massively because what you could do is pretty much move this all over to one line. And we typically do this with a list language construct. Now, it's tempting to call this a function and you'll see why. If we go ahead and check this out, it looks like this. So it almost looks like we're calling a function, uh, but it's kind of the same thing as when you echo something out. This isn't actually a function, it's a language construct of PHP, but that's kind of irrelevant for now. So what do we do with this? Well, we take list and from the params, what we can do is inside of list, choose the uh, params we want to access out. What will happen then is they will be placed into the variable names that you give them. Now there's a couple of caveats with this. So you have to have them in the same order. So you couldn't pluck out 20 first and 10 last. They have to be in the exact same order. But this I'm sure you'll agree is much cleaner than doing two lines like this and accessing these by their numerical key. So now what we can do is go and output X and Y because these are now available in the scope of this page. Params here, it kind of looks like we're assigning this value here. Uh, that's just a kind of nuance of destructuring. It looks like we're assigning params to this when in actual fact uh, we are extracting the values out of params. So let's head over to the browser and of course we get exactly the same result. So that's array destructuring in a nutshell, taking any list of uh, params from a particular array and going ahead and extracting them out like this. Notice as well, if I add a extra value to this, it doesn't actually matter because we're only choosing to read the first two. But of course, if we do go ahead and add in the Z param in here and dump that, we know that that's in the right order. So we'll see all three of them.